underway. That means soccer is also right around the corner for some Tri-States teams. The Hannibal Lady Pirates have also started to prepare for the season that lies ahead and hopes that they can also make history for their school's soccer program. Last season, the Lady Pirates soccer squad finished their season with a 20-6 record and went 10-0 in conference, only giving up one goal. Their season came to an early end in district semifinals where they lost to Duchenne 3-1. This year, some players are hoping their season has a different ending. Winning conference and then hopefully win districts. That's what we're shooting for. So we'll see how this year goes. However, before the season begins, this team is getting in shape and returning back to the fundamentals of soccer. After losing seven seniors last year, this Lady Pirate squad is filled with young players that will be starting for the first time. Head coach Eric Hill is hoping they'll be able to grasp their footing as the season progresses. It may be tough at the beginning um, when we're doing this and they're sore and they're tired and things like that, but uh, we fight through it and uh, get us in the, in the best possible spot so that, that we're ready to go when we get in those games. As practices continue for Hannibal, seniors like Gracie Martin are stepping up to help the team all be on the same page. And we're trying to keep each other and hold each other accountable on our team, and they're trying to like drill into our head that we've got to stay focused this season and we've really got to work hard to um, reach our goals of what we want to do. With the season less than two weeks away, Coach Hill is working on putting this young team in a position to have another successful season. If we can stay healthy and if we can really get everything figured out as the season progresses, then, then you know, we put ourselves in a good chance. And then it's just going to be a matter of how the matchups come and, and who we end up getting paired up with in districts.